Hello, hello, hello. My name is Arthur Alexander. I'm known as Daddy O. I'm a street entertainer in San Francisco. I came from Chicago. Once upon a time, I didn't believe HIV was really true. I thought it was just something just to put out there to stop the certain races from ha making babies since they put their tag on us on da da da, wah wah wah. But believe me, I found out quite a few of my friends left here. Not just from the sex part. Sherry Needles was, look, I, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm no angel, but I'm trying to do better. Hey, if you don't do any drugs, don't do them. And to be honest, the best way to stay safe, wrap it up. Especially if you're a male. It's for real. It's not going anywhere until we do something about it. I'm not going to take up a lot of time. I'm going to give you a, a couple of stories. I met this one lady, and I asked her, did she have it? And she liked me, so she lied. She said she didn't have it. But the kind of guy I am, after you get to know me, you know I tell the truth. And you, if you want to be, I'm like this. After the first time, the rest of them are second. So she finally told me the truth. But I started, she started crying and told me she had it. And you know what, y'all probably remember the story. The lady I'm talking about, she died. Not only did she die, she liked to get high. And she had HIV. And her friend that she was dating stuffed her in a suitcase and put her in the water in San Francisco. Yes, I knew that lady. I'm not going to say any names. You probably remember her yourself. She was a very, very, very nice lady. She had two lovely kids that I knew of. A, la a young, young lady, she was a school teacher, and her son. Her son was very smart and sharp. He was a rapper. And I loved her. But she finally told me the truth before we did anything. We had sex, yes, in our minds because... We were friends, and it's hard to find a true friend. And sometimes you find out when it's too late. So I'm sharing this one little instance with, the, with everybody. Hey, don't lie to yourself. Be true to the game. If you really, really, really care for someone and really love them, marry them. Okay? Marry them. And let God pick your spouse. Don't you do it. Because every time myself, when I do it, hey, I always mess up. But when God do it, it's always right. I'm going to go off with 36251. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost.